what's in our back window. The sunrise. Kind of cool. It's behind us, but. Hey everybody, we are on the way to Junk Jaunt. Um, we are headed to Grand Island to start our journey. Um, got Steve yeah. driving over there. Yeah, it's about, we decided to do Junk Jaunt. We're gonna try it. We tried it once and it didn't go so well, so we're gonna give it another shot this year. It's a, almost a two hour drive till we actually start garage selling, so we were actually up at 5.45 in the morning, which not a fan of, by the way. That's really early. Yeah. So the sun, ju sun just came up behind us. So we are, I don't know, probably about 20 minutes away from uh, our first sale, I would guess. We don't have the book, but we know that there's tons of sales in tons of towns. So we're just going to wing it and hopefully we can find some stuff. We figured we're going to give it a good honest try. We're going to, if it if we go and it's really, Donna's trying to get a little fly in here. Uh, we're gonna go and if it's really expensive like what we found last time then after we'll give it a good try for a couple hours Then after that we would just go back to Grand Island and just look for garage sales But we're we're hoping for the best. We are hoping to make it to Ord, Nebraska There's a viewer that says they'll be set up there. So our goal is to make it there But that's like a ways in between. There's a lot of stuff between here and there. So we're giving it a good honest try and we got two empty totes and five empty bags in the back, so we're gonna do the best we can and see what we come home with. Okay, so we are just a few stops in and we came out to this great big Quonset and it's full, full, full of stuff. And on one side, the prices are like 80 to $75 for a Halloween blow mold. And 90, 90. 90, okay. 90, which that may be what they're, which that may be what they're going for. But like their prices, they had a little end stand. Like eBay and it was higher. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. I mean, I kind of wish. The, I kind of thought about getting a camera out and like taking some pictures or videoing. But you know what? That's not. If if you're a collector, you may be looking for that stuff. But that's not what we're looking for. But Donna did and find stuff on the so other side. So anyway, on the other side. I found some yarn. So, hmm, ninety dollars for a blow mold or four bucks for a box of yarn. Yeah, Donna got the yarn. <laughs> so stay tuned. Okay, update. It's been a rough morning, you guys. Um, it's one eleven. It's, it's one. I guess it's afternoon now. But yeah. the first few sales we went to, nothing really, and the prices were sky high. But then. We found a garage sale and I gave her our little card so maybe she'll be watching if she is. Hi, thank you. Um, she used to be a Cincy consultant and then she used to be a... Uh, oh, what's it called? Young... Young Living. Young Living Oils? Uh-huh. And so I got a ton of Cincy's... Uh, and Bath and Body Works Bath stuff. and Body Works and uh, uh, essential oils. Just we spent two hundred and twenty-five. Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. Twenty-five at this one sale. At that one sale was amazing. She had the greatest stuff. And then we went to another sale, and I had a neat conversation with another girl down the street, and I found the Bible that I had when I was growing up, and some other toys and things like that, and a Pioneer sweatshirt for uh, two dollars, I think. But anyway, there's a few things in the back now. Yeah, now we're so we're feeling much better. Yeah, now better. we're filling up, and now we're it's at a point warm. we're thrilled because now There's we could turn around and go home, and we'd be thrilled now because we know that, that we found like a normal some stuff. Garage sale. We're looking for normal garage sales now, not the antiquers, because you know they want antique prices, which is totally fine. We're um, just not antiquers. We don't. Yeah, we're not antiquers. We're resellers. And, and also, um, the stuff that she got, there's like a bunch of Christmas presents I have stuff in there too. I like it wasn't, but I anyway, we're gonna go kids. over, yeah, we're gonna go over uh, all this stuff in the same video after we get home and show our haul. But we just wanted you to know that it's 110, whatever, and we are happy now. It was kind of getting rough. And it was getting rough. It's getting hot out and stuff, but now we're like, woohoo, it was all worth it now, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's all, just a little update. Okay. Hey everybody, 
update. It is 5.44 in the afternoon. We were in Kearney having lunch and we decided we were going home. <laughs> and then we decided, let's go back up to check out this one sale we heard about that was 40 minutes back the other well, way. We got a, a call to do a clean out after this sale was over. And we thought, well, we better go check it out so we know how big it is before we ado agree to do this clean out. Yeah. And besides, we want to shop it. So we headed back up the road. Yeah, 40 minutes back to the same area we were in. And you guys, we hit, other than the one big, buy, big sale that we already told you about, we hit two awesome sales to end the day. The first one we spent what, $70, $80, $75, The trains? Yeah. Yeah. And then the next one, we spent like $87. We're on our way home now. We'll be home about 7, 7, 15, 7, 30, 7 to 7, 30 at night, which will make it like a 13 and a half hour day. <laughs> um, but we spent a total of $613 garage selling today. And... We can't wait to show you what we got. We did really good, and which is shocking because a lot of sales were expensive. But And you know what? You guys, you'd be proud of me because I could have gotten a lot of fun stuff for the dollar auction, but we're doing this new way of doing things, and we're trying to buy smarter so that we can flip things higher. And so some of the things we got were good buys to flip for bigger dollars. Yeah, I did make a couple buys that were something that if it isn't on eBay, I didn't look up. I didn't, like, I don't know if it's worth much. And if it's not on eBay, I know I can flip it on the dollar auction and make money, but not much. I would say just two or three things and I And we got up. a few things for the booth. We got some sweatshirts. Yeah, we did shop for the booth some. And some Husker stuff. And a Husker, like, bedding set, comforter yeah, yeah. and pillowcase. But for the most part, it's mostly eBay back there. And we can't wait to can show you. Can you see? It's kind of full back there. Well, we can still see the window. Yeah. <laughs> this, this was our most expensive garage sale day other than the $1,500 buyout. This the is more than we've ever sent, spent in one day at just garage sales. So, uh, yeah, we're going to jump forward to either tonight or tomorrow morning. We're going to show you everything we got, and we are super excited about it. And here's our view. Don't mind my feet on the dash. Now, right, here's our view. Swimming. For the fields. next hour and a half. They've started doing corn harvest too in a lot of places. So that's our view. Yep, good old Nebraska. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's fast forward and show you all this cool stuff we got. Okay. All right, everybody. <laughs> We're home. It's two days later. It's oh my goodness. Friday night. But our friends came. No, in no, we, no. It's the next night. We <laughs> don't know. We we had our friends come and they helped Steve redo the brakes on the van. And yeah, we were gonna do it tomorrow, but we decided to do it today. So we came and we we're yeah. gonna do the front brakes. And Larry helped me, and we did the front brakes. And then while but we look. were at it, we looked at the back brakes, and we decided oh, yeah. well, we need to do the back brakes too. And so we did the front and the back brake so it's been a day and I shipped this morning also we were very fortunate like we think God was watching over us we know he was he always because is. yes because we're a mess we were out in hundreds of miles in areas with no reception in the middle of Nebraska and when we were doing the tires today the brakes we went to put a tire back on the front and here's a picture of what one of our tires Did you looks like oh good yes so yeah, there's a bubble in the right in the center of it, and it's worn through some cables, <laughs> and so we're like, "Holy cow!" I'm glad we weren't in the middle of it's nowhere. To the point, like, we need to go fund me for the <laughs> yeah, go fund me for the issue after issue. But no. you know, instead of a GoFundMe, we have a van full of stuff. So we we're here do. to show you what we got. Yes. So we can start listing this stuff. Oh, and so there. if my fingers, if you see my hands and they're a little greasy, I tried to wash them, but I was very dirty Please, today. Right so I have an announcement. So I have put more cup cozies on and I am putting um, washcloth sets Yay. on and I have slippers that I'm putting on. And so to find things that I make with the yarn that I find, because yes, guys, I found more yarn. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then I will put, um, I actually have an afghan and a half. So I'll put one afghan on. 
But if you want to see that, you want to support our channel, you want to support us, anything like that, or you just want to have something that I made, search on eBay, Happy Heart Treasures. Yeah, she's and then putting it that in the title. I'm putting that things. in the title, Happy Heart Treasures, all spelled out, and take a look. Yeah, at she it. sold several of those cup cozies, yeah. and we think it's really cool. She gets very excited when I one do. Comes I get through, so excited so when somebody buys awesome. them. So but, thank you for everyone that's purchased them already. Yeah, so we're gonna open up the van. We're gonna show you what the van looks like, and then we're gonna pull everything out, and then we're gonna start going through this, and hopefully it don't take too long. But we got a lot of stuff, yes. guys. Oh. All right, here's our mess. There's my yarn. <laughs> big pile yeah there's there's some yarn but it's there's a bunch in here okay we got everything in first of all we have a couple personal items we bought a few things that were personal use donnie you want to explain what all this is over here oh this stuff this is not it but this right here and this lattice stuff there's several pieces of it are going to keep the bunnies out of my flowers that's that's right there's three or four pieces of this is like vinyl lattice and we can cut this in half and then this here she has bunny issues in the backyard where she has flower beds so we i talked and told her we'll we'll strengthen it up this fall so now we have stuff to strengthen it up with all right we're going to go through basically we have four categories we have general garage sales that we found throughout the day then we have our three favorite garage sales and including the one that we those spent were big buyouts like big yeah yeah sales. yeah just we really liked those garage sales and one of them, our biggest one, we spent, like we mentioned, we spent $225 at, which we're really excited about. We're going to do that one last. But we think we did really good. We tried to stay away from dollar auction for the most part. We got a few things that might end up on dollar auction. But I think it's mostly eBay and then some booth. Okay, so one of the single garage sales, we spent $78 at. We got not a whole lot, only about four, five, six, seven things. But we're going to show you these real quick. Uh, there, the close was $2. These are for the booth. We'll just go through them kind of quick. Yep. We are, this month in September, we just passed $1,000 in sales at the booth again. So we got to restock. The booth, and sweatshirts are really good for the Basket. college kids. So there's a Husker sweatshirt. And then there's a, is that a real tree? Yeah, real tree. White, legendary white tails. Legendary white tails sweatshirt. And then a we got them for two dollars and Husker hoodie. We got them for two dollars and we will put them in the booth for probably sixteen to eighteen to twenty two dollars yeah. depending. Yep. yep. And then this one, I don't want to burn my fingers from it. Oh but my Lanta. It's a Chiefs Oh stop. Kansas City Chiefs hoodie. Just because your Broncos won. Uh, Chiefs have always won this year. Mm -hmm. They haven't lost yet. It is missing the string, but still, we think in the booth we'll get probably 20 bucks out of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got that stuff. And then this is one of the, this is one of the things that we kind of took a flyer on. We paid $10 for this, but we thought since it is Snap-on brand, it's a little car, wooden car, and there's like a train and there's train tracks. It's See a the Snap-on. or something. Yeah, set. wooden town set. There's a lot of pieces. There's little guys. There's tracks. There's trees. There's snap-on railroad track things. So this little box, just because it says snap-on, we thought, you know what? Let's pick it up. It's mm -hmm. ten bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, depending on whether it's how many pieces it is, um, it could be from thirty-four to eighty dollars. So we'll have to count the pieces. And then one more thing here. This is a Danbury Mint. I did not check him, so I hope there's no chips. Danbury Mint Husker Santa. I think I've sold I've sold Danbury Mint Husker yeah, before. I think sold I've sold before. this one before. And it sells for I believe fifty dollars. And we've I sold, sold the it for Mrs. So, Claus as well. Yeah, go big red. That's awesome. Oh, ten dollars. He asked he wanted ten dollars for it, so I just gave it to him because I know that I've sold it for fifty. And then all of this styrofoam. It's a train set, and I don't know mm -hmm. nothing about trains, but he asked, he said, how much for the train set? And he's like, $50. And I walked away, I'm like, nah, I don't know nothing about it. So then I went back to it again, and then I walked back away from it, and I went back to it again, and he said, well, let's take a look into it. And so I found the engine, and this is the engine. It says Spirit of America, and I found this set right here. And it sells for like 75 bucks, I think it was. 70 just, bucks. Just the engine. Just the engine. And then after the engine, we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more styrofoams, and one train car with no styrofoam. So it's like a, it's a Spirit of America train set or something. The train cars by themselves sell for like 15 bucks. And then I don't know, there's so in here. There's tracks. There's the there's the controller. It's never been used, obviously. Um, and then in these boxes, it's just cars and tracks. So mm -hmm. I really think there's another one there. So so there's all these containers, and they're lightweight. They'll be e they're new, so they'll be easy to picture and list, and they'll be easy to ship. Total. What do you think you can get? From uh, Let's say if I got 75 for the thing and then I got 15 for the rest, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 would be 165 plus the 75. So, you know. $200 at least. Two, 230 240 That's somewhere okay. around there. That's my guess for this. So $50. Uh, glad I picked it up. Nice. Okay, next we're gonna go through just random garage sales. And the first thing we found, of course, for the booth, and I thought it might do pretty well because the college kids have twin size beds in their dorm. Is this twin size Husker Comforter? Husker Comforter. So there's that and a pillow sham. Got that for five bucks. That'll go in the booth. And then I ran into a lady. She was so sweet. This is a crocheted purse or bag or whatever, and it's made out of. Plastic. grocery bags yeah. so she told me how to do it so guess what i'm gonna be doing might try it out got him for the booth and this didn't come oh yeah got this you can't find anything on this though right no I we can't. tried to look up c-o-r-e-e -E, fun and play we looked up Corey doll we can't find this anywhere so we don't know nothing about this haven't found any comps yet uh, I was looking for a year on it, and I do not see a year. So, yeah, if you know anything about Corey Fun and Play, um, yeah, let us know. Got that for a dollar. That's for a dollar. Got this set for a dollar. It's Tupperware cups. Got this measuring cup, Tupperware measuring cup for a set, or for a dollar. Got this, she looks like a 70s Barbie for a dollar. And, two, three, four, five, that was it from that one. And then from this sale, I got this. It's new in box. It got it for a dollar. It's a Boston vacuum mount uh, pencil sharpener. And I found that online for, what was it, 24? Uh, I don't know, I'll pop it up. Pop up, uh, yeah. So I thought that might be a good choice. At that same sale, we got some more VHS for the booth. We saw those for $3 a piece. Got them for 25 cents. What is this? It's a Zippo lighter. It's nothing too fancy, but it was only a dollar and it says Zippo on the bottom. So honestly, that's dollar auction. I'm kind of embarrassed to admit it, but it is. Dollar auction. What is this? Personal use, right there. Dollar piece. Those babies are going on the van. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Oh, uh, I don't know. 50 cents, but it's a Victory Motorcycles. I don't know what it is exactly, but for 50 cents, I thought that's probably worth picking up. And I got this bear. That I've thing is heavy. Heavy. The brand is Elmore Rudy Bean. So it's a, I don't think you can see it, but it says. I found one that I, I thought I looked like him. And I paid $5 for him taking a chance. But when I looked it up, I found one that looked like him for like $87. Yeah, it wouldn't shock me. It's, so, it's definitely old. It's very unique. I don't know what he is. We've got to do some research into that. And what is this? I don't know. Oh, that's a massager. Paid $5 for that. We have sold these massagers in the past. And I looked it up. I can't remember what it's worth. But it is a Sonoid, S-O-N-O-I-D, massager. And I think it's like 30 bucks ish Oh, nice. And then these books we got for five dollars they are the ones that you read backwards like anime books she paid five dollars and there's a total of how many seven seven of them and i'll pop up comps it's samurai deeper um 
Kio or something like so that. So I'll, I'll pop up Tom's. I did look it up and it was worth it was worth picking up. So all right, then we were at a sale that was very expensive. I think we actually talked about it on the way out of the sale and it was very expensive. But then I was leaving. I went over to Donna. I left this little area and I said, I'm going to the van. Take your time. I'll be in the van with the air conditioner running. And she's like, hey, did you see the video game? And I'm like, what? And so she's like, right over there, I just missed it. So there was a, it's a, uh, well, what's the Call of Duty, Call of Duty PS4. And if this works, uh, I can plug it in and test it and everything with the controller. If this works, it's like a hundred bucks. So I paid $20 for this. So I thought that was not a bad pickup. At the same little cell that I got um, the crocheted purse from, we got this little chicken nesting chicken for four dollars um this little moose i didn't look him up but he was two dollars and i liked him so i got him and i liked him and i liked him and the red birds were a dollar because i liked them didn't look them up didn't look this up either oh it's like a cameo with a yeah old container and that was a dollar but we did look this up it was ten dollars now luke and i have to pause here because luke watches us in time and a half speed look check this out this looks like jasper yeah we both think it looks like jasper it's a vase and steve did look this up and i don't remember what it's worth but we'll i'll pop up some kind I was of thinking comp, it maybe. was like 25 30 dollars something like that but yeah and it's marked germany on the bottom all right so like that okay and these are just some more stuff from some more of the garage sales i got this for the booth yep. country girls Pioneer. And then this one Steve picked up. I forgot what it was. Budweiser. Oh, Budweiser. Budweiser fleece, quarter zip. Um, picked that up for the booth. Paid, I think, two bucks for it, I think it was said. This was a dollar. Cord's light shirt, yeah, for the booth. Yeah, like I said, the booth is going very well. So it, and a lot of shirts, clothes are selling in the booth. Looking for some more soft stuff. Got this blanket for 50 cents. Nice. I don't think you were there. You had I already gone to the farm. That. Got this one for 50 cents. This is a kid blanket, but it's got cow jumped over the moon. Oh, cool. And it is a it's like uh, baby blanket size. Mary Englebright. Mary Englebright. All right, cool. Okay. And then I got this one because loveys do pretty well. It's just a lovey, but it has. The tag still and it says jesus loves me nice got that for 50 cents okay i'm not going to take all of this out but i'm going to show you baby jesus i got a nativity for one dollar and it is the home interior you can see on the back home interior number 5502 this is the baby jesus nice so i got that for a dollar the whole i think it's a nine piece nativity set and it's in really nice shape and i you'll just have a pop-up pump because i can't remember how much it was that's all right what is this it's like christmas oh i got this for a dollar can you smell it it's really good <laughs> champagne toast champagne mm. toast I never heard of toast flavored like champagne, no. but apparently it's a thing, I guess. No. It smells good, though. And what could be in here, you guys? What? What do you think? I don't know. What could it be? <laughs> Yarn. Yarn. <laughs> $4 a bot bag. You got this guy. Oh, yeah. Town people. I picked this up at a garage sale for, I don't remember how much, little to nothing, but... I did look it up, and it's worth quite a bit, I think. Uh, I'll pop up a comp, of course. So, early on, we weren't having really super good luck, and so I bought some stuff for myself. Got myself a coffee cup. See what it says? Anything is possible. Look at it. It's the perfect size. Large. And then I got this one at the next sale. Cool days and cozy nights. Look at it, you guys. <laughs> and then I got myself a purse for a dollar. We think. Nice. My notebook will fit in there. And then I drive my husband crazy sometimes. I got this for myself. 
for a dollar. Uh, I am all for that because that stuff is expensive. Because two of these is $18 in store. And I got each one of these brand new contact solution bottles for a dollar a piece. That's great. And then I got a bigger one for a dollar <laughs> a piece. Or for a dollar. And then I'm going to give you a, a tidbit of useful information. So if you ever get we work in the garage right so it's not airtight it's not tight tight and there's cracks sometimes and so little roly-poly bugs come in and see us this time of year but roly-poly bugs don't like cinnamon so put a scentsy in the garage if you work out there with cinnamon in it and i found a cinnamon scentsy lady so we bought these scentsies and we're gonna use them out here to keep the roly polies away. It's cinnamon roasted pear, cinnamon vanilla, cinnamon pine cones, scary good. Yeah, literally last year, all of a sudden there was all these roly polies for like several days and I'm like, what's with all the roly polies? And so we did some research, cinnamon, uh, just something about cinnamon, put cinnamon out around the edge, whatever. So Donna had a cinnamon since then. And so she changed it, she put it in and like literally the next day i came out and i noticed there's no roly polies there's none so Look, it, it's they don't like it at all okay plethora of stuff from more garage sales and then we'll get to the big buyouts um got a hat for the booth for i think they they gave me the hat for free got another one of these we just sold this with a lid for 14.99 got this for a dollar it's a tupperware measuring thing I got these for us to try. They're Tupperware, personal use maybe, pizza capers. Cool. So for 50 cents. Got a couple of these little plushies, um, vintage toys. This one was 50 cents. Okay. And it's Russ's. And then this is a vintage rubber <coughs> elephant for 25 cents. Same with uh, bunnies, 10 cents a piece. And then all of these she gave me for free. And they're the vintage rubber. And then these are kind of like the monkeys in a barrel, but they're elephants. Okay. And then I got this for 25 cents. He is a Disney. Um, yeah, he's from some movie. I don't remember which one, but yeah. Cinderella. He's from Cinderella. And then I got some more, and these are not vintage, but they're trolls. And trolls have been flying off the shelf at the booth for whatever reason. Don't know why. But the kids like them. Hey, I want to tell you guys another tip. This table is plastic, and it's one of, just one of these plastic folding tables. And in time, they got all these scratches, and they get so dirty. Well, my table over here was like that, too. And I got Barkeeper's Friend out, and I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed, and it's almost like new it is i don't know if you can see it very well but it cleaned it up so well with some elbow grease and some barkeeper's friend anyway back to the regular programming i got a bunch of stickers don't know anything about them but we like to go garage selling and we kiss a lot of frogs so whatever i haven't even looked them up they're a kona scuba gear adventure gear <laughs> yeah so we're kissing frogs so we have frogs for our kissing frogs yeah uh sony walkman Picked it up for dollar fifty cents. Uh, didn't test it or anything, but even if they don't work, they'll sell. So especially Sony. Uh, let me look up the model number so I can pop up a comp. Model number WM-EX102. So no corrosion on the inside there. It looks good. So there's that. Okay, she had these marked at two dollars a piece. We got them for a dollar a piece. Just by little, saying, hey, would you take them for a dollar? She yeah, said little yes. Playboy keychains. This is just a little trinket box. Guess why I got it? For trinkets? Trinkets or because it had a flower on the lid. That too. This is a little flower pot. Yep. So this was me being sad because we couldn't find very much. So these purchases that you're seeing right here were in the beginning. Got another one of these happy apples for a dollar. Those sell for like $14, $16. Yeah, we've sold a few of those. And then these are just coasters. They're going in the booth two at a time. Um, got this. I didn't look these up, you guys. So I got a bottle of Dolce. Dol how do you pronounce it? Dolce and Cabana, I think, but for a dollar. Yeah, I don't even know. 
Got her for 50 cents. Got this set. I think they were a dollar. Salt and pepper shakers. Salt and pepper. Got these for the booth, 25 cents a piece. Got this shaker. It's a Tupperware shaker with the insides cool. for 25 cents. Got this set. And the vintage sets, if, if you can find them with the chain still, they're worth more, but I don't know how much she's worth. Uh, this is a Yeti can cup. I got it for $2. It is used. I've sold these on the dollar for like seven or eight bucks. I think used, I don't know if they're worth eBay, but even if they're not, if you stay tuned, you're gonna see that that's okay because I might have found another one that's brand new. Okay, I got this vintage toy. He needs to be cleaned up, but each one of these is a whistle and um, it's a talking music wagon. So I didn't look up on either, but for a dollar, I'd take a chance and this little Vintage Troll was a dollar. Okay. And then I found a Snap Tight Hummer. Uh, Snap Tights I didn't think were worth as much uh, on eBay, but it's brand new. I did look this up and I think it sells for like 20 or 25 bucks. It's not a dollar, two dollars. It says right there. But the box is a little bit dinged up, but it's still new sealed, so two bucks. We got this for one dollar. It's one of the big um, crock pots. But it doesn't have the lid. So we're hoping to get the lid from like another clean out or from a, a thrift store or something like that. We can probably, probably look on eBay. We could probably get a lid really, really cheap. And then this thing would sell either on the booth or dollar auction just because we're in Husker land. Mm -hmm. It would probably sell really, really well. All right. And my most favorite find of just regular garage sales is this. See the little dolphin? Hope you can see that. And it says right on it, right there, 10K. Here, I'm gonna take a picture of that and I'll pop it up. So there um, you can see 10K Italy. Yes. And then uh, she paid a dollar, so what'd me. you say about it? My most favorite find. It's worth more than a dollar, that's Worth sure. more than a dollar. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do the, we got two sales to do. The first one we're gonna do was the very last sale we went to. We actually pulled up to the sale and we were like, oh my, this thing is huge. And we were like, I hope the prices ain't bad. And the prices were great, you guys. So we're excited about this. And then we're gonna show you our last, the biggest buyout we did. But this one we're excited about too. Let's get into this. I'm gonna start big. We're just gonna start big because do you ever buy something? Here's a question for you in the comments. I have two questions. Number one, do you ever buy something then you get home and you're like, what did I do? But sometimes you say, what did I do? But you're like, you know what? It's okay. But why not? You guys, you know what I bought? I'm gonna spin this around. I bought a 13 inch RCA, the box is upside down, RCA TV. You know why though? It's brand spanking new and it was five bucks. It's brand new in the package. I pulled this off and it's brand spanking new. I think it's brand new, they say it's brand new. I didn't pull it out and check it, but I did look up comps and like sold used i think this sells for like 80 bucks or something like that so my question is this i don't regret picking it up i've shipped tvs before i've shipped a couple of them actually my question is this if it was if you had the box like this and you have the styrofoam would you just ship it like this do you think it'd be safe to ship just in this box slap a label on it and go do you think that would be safe or would you double box it in an even bigger box before you send it out? I think the remote's down there wrapped up. It might be brand new. But anyway, what would you do? And if you want to say I wouldn't pick it up, that's fine. But do you think it's safe in the styrofoam? And then in the same area, because there was electronics, I'm going to show you this too. This was another great pickup. First of all, in here is a handy cam, but in here they have this Sony uh, recorder and this one I went up and asked them, there was no price tag on it, but the battery compartment is corroded. So I went and asked them and basically they gave it to me for free. He charged me 50 cents, but then he took 50 cents off of the TV, honestly. So I think I'm gonna use some vinegar, try to clean that up. And then I didn't look it up, but I'll try to clean it up. And if I can't get cleaned up, I'll just pitch it. So it was basically free. But this handy cam camcorder with all the stuff, the 
rubber is kind of flaky there and that's fine i've dealt with that before these are good pickups especially if you find the right model um handy cam right there trying to look for the model number so i can show a pop-up account comp ccd dash trv 318 this thing if it works is i i don't remember 100 150 something like that maybe 100 and quarter ish so i have high hopes for this and then it came with the cords and cables and there's stuff all over in this thing i haven't even looked in it but i don't know more cords and cables but i carried that up to the counter and i'm like how much for this and he's like two bucks i'm like yeah i'll take it for two bucks so you know even if it's for parts or repair i'll make money on it but usually i haven't found one that don't work yet so awesome pretty excited about that all right those finds were in one like big quantum building barn thing i paid for them separately the rest of this stuff we spent 80, 82 25 on so donna let's see what we got Okay, we got all this yarn. Of course, we got yarn, you guys. Right. All of this yarn is was $10. 10 bucks. Okay. Yeah. These, if you find Lion's Brand yarns, homespun, and it's kind of um, variegated colors, they sell pretty well. They've sold really well for me. And so, about $9.99, $10 a skein for these. Um, so she could list these and get how many skeins of that do you have? Well, I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have eight. So I could probably list it. I'd probably list this whole bunch for sixty-four ninety-nine. There you go. So. And you'd still have all this yarn to play with. I'd have it to play with this one. Um, just because it's unusual, it's vintage. I'm going to look this up. Uh, what does it say? Sheep's wool? What the heck? Sheep is a wool? Probably sheep's wool. Something like that. Grandma? Granada. 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 Not grandma? No, not grandma. Okay. Um, so I'll look that up and probably list that. Um, I always need base colors when I make uh, afghans. And so I love to find a lot of the same base colors. So I will use this, all of those for one blanket. All of the um, ivory ones for one blanket just as the base color this is uh we love yarn mega ball <laughs> yeah and then a mega ball. you saw that i got variegated yarn before and the other yarn by and what i do is i take those yarns they've already put them together so the colors work well together and i use that as inspiration to make afghans so i find a variegated one i like I find a base color, either ivory, white, black, something like that. And then I find all the colors that are in that variegated one in my stash and make a blanket. Very cool. Okay. I, I found this John Deere wall clock with pendulum. I did not find any list. I did not find any comps on this. I found one comp. Somebody has one listed. I don't remember for how much. I'll look it up. But it was for parts or not working. I do not know if it works. I did pay $10. And the reason I paid $10 is it's a John Deere licensed product. So I thought that might be worth it. It is just battery operated. It's not exactly super fancy. But, you know, John Deere, that's pretty cool. I think that'll be worth it. Okay, I got a little bag of... Some of them say Department 56 and some of them say Lamax. So just little people for the villages. And this was $2 for this whole bag. And then I got these, I don't know what they are, don't know what they go to, but they looked interesting, so I'm going to look them up and find out more about them. Cool. Got that set for a dollar. We watched two people, and one is Amy from Beach Buy and Repeat, and one is uh, Homeschool and Picker, Kayla. And whenever they find brass, anything, they pick it up. If it's cheap enough or whatever we don't know much about brass but we took a flyer because we got this set of wall we call them wall sconces that hold candles and the set was four dollars for these so we picked those up and then these were three dollars a piece so six for the set but these are brass candle holders and they're made in india and they're nice and heavy so we don't know if they ain't worth anything we're gonna blame amy and kayla so it, Kayla will probably never see us. Amy, if you see this, huh? I hope that we did good. Please let me know. Okay. Then also because of... Look at these. 
Kayla and Matt because they pick up unusual decorations. We didn't, we looked these up and it was $4 for each lamp, right? We looked them up and these are about 20 a piece and these are 25, you know, ish a piece. So we went ahead and bought all four of them. I think we're gonna do two and two, you know, to try to get like probably- I think you should do one and one of these because shipping this would be a lot easier with just one. Okay. So they can buy two and I'll ship them separately. Okay. So anyway, those are just cool, unique pieces. And so we couldn't pass those up. They're oil lamps. Yeah. Okay, and then I just got a Ken doll. This is a Sunshine Dad doll. Um, I got him because I lost mine when I was growing up. So I wanted him. This girl was in with these dolls. I don't know if these are cat... Keisha, is that what they're called? Keisha dolls. I don't know nothing about that. So we're gonna have to look these up. Okay. Um, I got this. And my other kid, Dakin, if you watch this, Dakin, pay attention. This is a Dakin Disney Mickey Mouse. Very cool. And so he's vintage. Dakin's becoming vintage. <laughs> but um, I see what he did there. Yeah, Dakin. Yep. Spelled a little differently than our kids, but got this poppycock picture. Yep. And it's like $16 and I paid three. And then here are just some more trinkets. I got a salt and pepper shaker set. Haven't looked them up yet. I think we'll be surprised when we do. Mickey Mouse weather vane. Got that for 50 cents. Have not looked this up yet. Thought okay. it was interesting. All right. And then... My dog My has fleas. My dog has fleas. It's a game. Old game right there. And there's fleas. Yep. So uh, we got that. For lots like a dollar, right? For one dollar. Didn't even look it up. Just got it for um, When we got to the car, we did, and there's lots of different comps for it, so who knows what we'll do. The tail by itself sells for $9. There you go. Um, the, the fleas by themselves sell for like $12, but I'll probably try to sell them together. And then by the other John Deere clock, I found this clock. Just kind of a wood carved. I don't know if it's hand carved or not. I think it is because it's actually from it? Iowa. Mom. Newton. Yeah, he said this is walnut. Newton exclusive American heritage. Uh, solid walnut engraved. Laser engraved clock. Uh, from Newton, Iowa. Right there. I don't know if you can see that. But that I just thought was a cool clock there. And it was only two bucks. So... If it ain't worth anything, we can put that in the booth and probably get 20 bucks for it, I think. All right, these last two things. We got this little Cupid doll for seven bucks. And he is... Okay. Now, he charged you seven, but then the next thing, he only... The next thing, uh, he charged me a dollar for. Okay? So. This little guy, I can... He sold for $30. Okay. Okay, he's a Cupid doll. And then Donna offered five for this. I offered five for this. But the guy thought the seven was way too much for the other, so he said, I'll give it to you for a dollar. And that one is, is anywhere from 37 to $99 pre-owned. Nice. Right there. There's $99.99, 37 Yeah. And then Absolutely. all over the board in between. So those were, I'm, I'm happy about Okay, now for the big buyout. All right, and the big buyout is actually, there's like three parts to it. We're gonna do this kind of quick. We're gonna get through it. But we, Donna did her own buyout for $100. I did my own buyout for $100 of different things. And we had then a pile of stuff that we like shopped garage sale style from this same garage sale that we paid 25 for. So we're gonna show you kind of in those three categories or whatever, so you kind of see what each one we paid for. All right, next up, this is the $25 for all of this. We counted it all up, paid $25. She knocked a couple bucks off or something, but so here's what we got for 25 bucks. First of all, an antenna that we actually forgot and they hollered at us, hold on, you forgot your antenna. Um, I just, I probably won't actually use this or sell it and probably go to the scrap, but that's okay. Because I, go, I got it for, it went with this Cobra 18 Ultra Weatherband CB radio. It is dirty, but CB radios can be worth good money. They only wanted a dollar for the CB, so I picked it up for a buck. You can't go wrong, so I'll test it, and I'll have a comp popped up. But hopefully that's a good CB radio. 
And then this is a Dymo like label printer. I don't know if it works or anything. I don't have the power cord, but it was 25 cents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 25 cents. So I thought, let's just pick that up. I can test that later for a quarter. Donna found these for two bucks for two bucks for all four of these decorative edging landscaping boxes. See that right there? So I don't know. I've sold one single box of those um, from a clean out we did for $7 on dollar auction. So we'll see yeah. if that remains the trend or, or what. Yeah, we are not we're not completely not doing dollar auction, but we're just trying to do better things. We're instead of trying to buy some for a quarter and make it two bucks off it, maybe we buy this for two dollars and we flip them and get five to seven dollars a piece and make over twenty on it. Like that's more what we're the direction we're trying to head in. All right, there's a couple clothing items. I know you guys probably don't get too excited about the clothes, but here is an old school Tweety Bird. Uh, it's a small, but it's from 19. 1995 Husker sweatshirt, so that mm -hmm. goes in the booth, of course. Uh, there's some Husker joggers, like joggers, like Capri joggers, mm -hmm. and they were 50 cents. Those go in the booth. Here is a Huskers vintage sweatshirt, I think it's vintage. Mm -hmm. uh, that for a dollar. That was 50 cents. 50 cents. And then here is a flannel bonfires football pumpkins. It's, it's football. Fall, it's fall, y'all. It's football. Shirt. It's football, y'all. <laughs> and then here is You Are My Sunshine. Fill Your Soul with Sunshine. That That's too. what it says. Cool. And then there's these. I, just wanna, I don't want to spend too much time. Good on mom these. say bad words. Uh, we might have gotten this for a friend of ours. And Sloan's she watches mom, the videos. Maybe. So uh, <laughs> we're sending this to you. We're saving it for you. Uh, and then we have. That's me. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. That's Donna's shirt. Um, she got for herself. And then there's one more shirt here. Girls rule. All right. So that's all the clothes. That's that's it. That's all. No more clothes. All right. And then I mentioned earlier uh, Yeti. Here's a brand new one. I think brand new. I did look it up. I think it's like 25, 30 bucks for brand new. Uh, those can coolers. So that was five. She wanted five gave it to her well it's part of this bundle honestly mm -hmm. here is a donna found this kate spade lunchbox little lunchbox out to lunch it says on there kate spade for 25 kate cents spade. yep here's a heavy husker bobblehead for a dollar little red for one dollar uh, i found a pair of lily's little justin boots two dollars you guys how cool those things are in excellent excellent probably take the sticker they say Justin Justin Gypsy, like must be the model, but two freaking dollars. They're Justin boots. They're size like seven and a half, I think, but two bucks. Young Living, this is some good stuff. Um, 50 cents. So these things were really cheap. There's Seedlings Baby Oil and Seedlings Diaper Rash Cream. And she said these new were new. And She used to be a Young Living consultant. And then Thieves. This is Young Living 2 Thieves. I looked this up. This is worth good money too. This is $3. It's brand new. It should be sealed. These are cleaners. It is sealed right there. So good finds there. Young Living is apparently a very good brand. All right, that is the end of the $25. So now we have two $100 buys. One is Donna's, one is mine. I'll go through mine first and then we'll have Donna finish with hers. All right guys, here we go. This is what we're most excited about. My big buy and Donna's big buy. I didn't buy that many things for $100. What I did buy is right here. Oh, this little bit of stuff. She threw this in for free at the end. It's an infuser, I think, or what do you, defuser? Inf Def infuser, okay. So infuser. No, she, diffuser. Diffuser, okay. Diffuser. These are oils, guys. They are, oh, and look in here, this beautiful box on the back of it, it says Aroma Outfitters. She got out of this and selling this and she was just trying to move her stuff. Look at all those bottles, guys, $100. There are so many different scents and oils and everything, but I wanted to show you the main ones that I looked up that I found. So this is while Donna was like working her thing and talking to her about her buyout. I was just kind of like hanging out and I saw these oils and I knew they could be worth money, but I'm like, I don't really know how much. So I just started comping things. A lot of these bottles may not be worth 
nearly this much but as I was comping I found this is called these are all Young Living so Young Living is apparently a good good brand this is called Progressive Plus and she had two of these bottles there's one here there's one here and these are all brand new there are a few bottles in this lot that are used but most of them are brand new but these Progressive Plus right here these little bottles sell for $35 a piece once I saw that $35 a piece I thought I'm gonna try to buy the whole thing so I brought her over I showed her the little section I said how much for this whole section and she's like I don't know what do you think and I said would you take a hundred bucks and she said yep right away she was like absolutely I'll take it she was thrilled to get rid of them her husband had been wanting her to get rid of them this one says ten dollars I don't know what kind is it what it is it is evergreen essence right there I don't know if that one's actually worth more or not but there are tons tons and tons there's abundance right there there is tea tree right there there is stress away there is cinnamon bark look at this there is bergamot frankincense frankincense we got frankincense we got bigger bottles we got smaller bottles and this little display thing so this i think is going to do absolutely great um, i don't know what all these do but there's lemon there's peppermint right there so lots of things to look up and then also i started looking up these things and here is a full unopened box and this this is Young Living and it's essential er, essential oil infused household cleaner thieves they call it. This box is unopened. I know this goes for good money. And then this box is probably three fourths full it feels like. And that was in the lot. And then I have Young Living Thieves. Um, what like is this? Whitening toothpaste. Whitening toothpaste. And here's some Young Living essential oils. That's lip gloss. Lip gloss is right here. And this is brand new too. It's a rose ointment. And we have Morning Start uh, bath and shower gel. We have Morning Start moisturizing soap. And we have Deep Relief, Young Living Deep Relief right here. So I don't know what this is all worth. There's a lot to look up, a lot to list, but for $100, I think I absolutely hit it out of the park. Tell me what you think about my $100 buyout. And now, Let's see what Donna got for $100. I'm mean, going to give you a forewarning. She got a lot more items than I did for $100, but she's super excited about hers also. For my buy, here we go. I got all of these items, you guys, for $100. There's 86 items. This big bag counts as one item. It's the Scentsy samples but you can if you know burn them warm them pioneer woman cups and then these are mostly bath and body works um lotions scents some are not bath and body some are scentsy counter clean dish soap bathroom cleaner, lamps, light bulbs, there's a piece of jewelry, there's uh, fresheners, these pieces all go to that ebony cube, you can take them off, the Husker one is on now, I've got another ebony cube back of there. These are washer scents to freshen your laundry, and then I have a candy corn warmer, a be mine this one down here super cute is a whale then i have some buddy um pal sensies gauged robot and then i have all of these discontinued baby scented they smell like baby powder and here's a sample of the poo he's a flush with the toys for the baby and we've got all the figures from Pooh, plus a few others. And then there is a Young Living Diffuser right there too. 
So all of this, you guys, for a hundred bucks. There's 86 items. So I'm pretty excited about this buy. Some of it, of course, I will use. Some of the fresheners and that kind of thing. But most of it's going to be listed. Tell me in the comments how you think I did. Okay, that's it. That's everything. $613. Yeah. $613. Jeez, how do you think we did? Um, I think we did really well. And we have a lot of small things that'll be easy listing. We have some things that we looked up. We know like on the way home, we had a long drive to get home. So we could remember what we got. So we looked up a bunch of stuff. And the things that we remember and how we figured it... We're thinking around twelve to fifteen to maybe two thousand dollars of just the bigger stuff, and all the rest would be fluff. Yeah, I think the six hundred dollars. I think we can do that in probably about ten items, ten or twelve items, because like the TV's a hundred, the PS4 is a hundred. I mean, I think we have enough big items. The train. The train's a couple hundred bucks right there. The so Santa. I think we can uh, knock out the 600 pretty quick. And then I think we're going to have a lot to work with. And a lot of, like I said, a lot of small, easy items to list. But this has been a long video. Yes, thanks for sticking yeah, with Yeah, thanks us. for sticking around. We super, super appreciate it. Um, so we're going to... We're gonna. I'm gonna start working on this video, but then over this next week, we actually have a pretty quiet week. We don't have a we're lot going on. We're gonna get to listing, and we're gonna plan it on listing a lot. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, we can sell a lot. Yep. So anyway, that's it for today. We are happy our treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We will see you on the next one. Bye.